Welcome back to Jim's Jeeps. Today we're going to work through a little problem that we actually caused when we were doing the tire rotation demonstration. What happened is the lug is spinning on the stud. And so we're going to take care of that right now. There's a couple different ways to do it and we're going to try something new that maybe you haven't seen before. So what we have is a lug spinning on the stud inside. Now, some people say, ah, it's no big deal. Yeah, good luck getting the tire off. So what we're gonna do is try and get that out of there using a lug ripper. Now, some people say you can hit it with a chisel, break it off. I don't think really that's gonna happen. There's too much movement in the stud itself. You can't drill it out straight. I suppose you could try and hold it with something like a pair of pliers or vice grips and try and drill out the center. But this tool really is designed to grab a hold of the lug nut itself. And there's basically a milling bit that'll take out the stud as you hold the nut. And so we're gonna demonstrate that next because I don't think four lugs are enough to hold my wheel off. So this kit comes in a a nice blow mold case. There's four different sizes. Uh, we're gonna use a three quarter one. And basically it comes with a, I don't know, for lack of a better term, I think it's more like a vise that holds the nut. So we'll put that on. And there's a little collar that kind of clamps down on that. You don't wanna make this too tight because you could actually collapse it too much and cause uh, some friction on the bit that we're gonna put through the middle of it. You can see that's that's real loose. That's actually holding the lug and the stud all together. Then we're gonna use this milling bit in a drill, an electric drill, a corded drill. Uh, they, they caution you not to use a battery power drill. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with the torque and so forth that you can get out of a, a corded drill. So we're gonna mount this up and we'll try drilling this out, see how good it really is. And so we have the bit mounted in the drill now, in a corded drill. And this is not Gatorade. I actually made a solution of one ounce Dawn dishwashing soap to 16 ounces of water and it fits in this bottle. I poked a little hole at the top. They say that's what you should use to make sure the, the bit doesn't overheat. So we're gonna find out how all that works. I think we're going to have to hold that as well with a wrench. Take three. It's definitely not overheating.
check our progress. It's definitely finding its way through the nut. is removed from the spinning stud. Now let's take the tire off and see what other damage is underneath. Here's the lug pocket that we took the nut out of, and it's it's fine. It's not damaged at all inside the rim here. There's a lot of metal shavings. We can clean those out, though. And the lug is a little bit warm. And... It basically has stripped all the splines off of it. And the top of it has been basically milled off by that milling bit. And this hub face itself is wallowed out, so that tells me that either this lug was loose and went down the road for a while or maybe it was damaged trying to get it out. I'm not exactly sure, but in any case, we're going to have to replace this half of the axle shaft here, uh, which is a fairly simple job, and we'll be doing that here shortly in the next upcoming video. Impressions of the tool. It does the job. It's okay, it's expensive, but the only other option to get this out would be to disassemble the entire differential and take the axle shaft out with the tire and everything on it. Uh, that also could be done. Then you could grab the stud from behind with a pair of vice grips and probably get the nut off that way. But when it's free spinning in the hub like that, there's really not much of an option. You're gonna have to do one way or the other. I suppose you could hit it with a cutting torch and ruin your rim, but that's really not an option either. At that point, you might as well buy a tool like the Lug Ripper. So that's what we have today. We'll be taking a look at this again here shortly in an upcoming video. I'm going to have to order some parts 
and uh, we'll replace all these lug studs and put them on a new axle shaft and we'll be showing that here shortly. Thanks for joining Jim's Jeeps today. We'll see you next time.